what's going on guys it is pokey hoarder and today i'm bringing you an extra extra special mail day so within the last week you know i've been running rampant making tons of purchases and getting lots of sealed product just because the market is kind of fluctuating right now so i wanted to make sure that i got my hands on some stuff before it just became way too expensive for me to afford it so I made a few purchases right now I have over ten thousand dollars worth of product sitting on my desk right now and I'm gonna show you exactly what I purchased so first off uh, shout out to Ryan Suarez for this purchase he definitely hooked me up uh, let's start off with some of the loose packs that I bought from him so this is pla black and white plasma blast uh, this is just an art set I roughly purchased about, I want to say it was 44 packs from them for the Blast. And here's the Plasma Storm, which is the pricier one. This is the one where the that you can pull the Charizard out of. So there's that. Plasma Freeze. So just so you guys know, so Plasma or Black and White, the Black and White series came out in the early uh, 2001. It was like April of two or 2011. That's what it is. So it was released in 2011, and it ended in November uh, November of 2013. All right. Excuse my my me making that weird noise. Uh, I'm a little sick right now. Not sick like COVID sick, but I'm just getting over a little a little cold. So this is one of the blisters. This is a black and white Noble Victors blisters. I have I got multiple of those. A black and white Emerging Powers three pack blister. A black and white base set blister. And a Dark Explorers two-pack blister all right let's set those off to the side for now let's move on to the booster boxes because <laughs> we have a lot all right so the first two are the plasma blast so I purchased two plasma blast boosters from them which they are absolutely immaculate condition very very mint one of them will be going in the personal collection. The other one will be up for sale. This one, uh, this is the Black and White Next Destinies. As you can see, it has some damage, some heat damage to it. So I'll probably be opening this one on the channel. Luckily, I got a second one. So this one will be going into the personal collection for sure. I also got two black and white dragons exalted look at that this set is beautiful by the way if you if you have not opened any dragons exalted set or uh, booster packs <coughs> excuse me the set is absolutely beautiful and a black and white base set box i'm going in no particular order with these with these boxes i just have so many that i'm just moving sliding through a black and white emerging powers booster box and that is it for that look at that oh man such a beautiful set so there's soup I think me personally I think black and white right now is super undervalued um, you can possibly buy black and white booster boxes from anywhere to six hundred to a thousand dollars so that's why I jumped on them um, and you know since I made the purchase till today, there it's only risen. I know the plasma one has risen over three hundred dollars, so the prices just keep increasing. It's becoming more expensive. Sealed product is becoming more expensive. So if you have some extra money just laying around, I highly suggest that you invest it in some some Pokemon sealed product. So next up, we have Poke Fiends. So if you guys don't know who Poke Fiends, Poke Fiends a cool dude. He's, uh, I met him on Instagram, and I purchased this here, this XY Flash Fire Booster Box. So it's a little damaged. I'll be opening this, up, opening this up on the channel as well. That's the reason why I bought it. As you can see, it's like 
the wrapping is ripped there, the wrapping is ripped there, but it's still sealed, it's not tampered with or anything, just has a couple tears. Perfect box to break on a channel, honestly. So this box right now, in mint condition, it's running anywhere between $1,000 to $1,200, which is crazy, because Flash Fire about a year ago was nowhere near that. So this set was actually released in May of 2014, and it has that Mega Charizard you see right there, it's uh, the Secret Rare is in a PSA 10 that's going for anywhere between two thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. I've seen it, so definitely an exciting set, and I'm glad I can get my hands on it. I look forward to opening that on the channel for sure. All right, so the next, the next one is a big purchase I made. Um, this guy's pretty legit. His name is uh, Brandon Zelinsky. <coughs> Excuse me. He sold me. Uh, pretty much the entire Sun and Moon uh, booster box set, which I will go over here. Let's start off with Unbroken Bonds, of course, because Unbroken Bonds is the new hotness. Unbroken Bonds, if you guys did not know, right now is up over $200 per box. So I got me a couple sealed cases of that just because I saw it happening. You know, I wanted to hop on it uh, as quickly as possible. So. And another one that's pretty hot is XY Evolutions. Uh, Evolutions is, you know, it's one of the overprinted sets, probably the most overprinted set in XY. And, you know, it's just taking off. It really is. It's taking off just because base set is becoming so expensive and it's very nostalgic just because it has a lot of the base set cards in there. So it's a more affordable way to open up some base set cards, essentially, is what it is. So next up, I have Team Up from Sun and Moon. This is another another set that is uh, taken off. Um, it was not overprinted, and this is the first set where they have the Team Up cards in. So definitely, definitely taking off right now. Um, team Up boxes, you can get them for right under $200 right now. So they're only going to rise in price. So if you can get your hands on one, do it now while you still can. All right, the next box we have is a Forbidden Light from Sun and Moon. You know, this this set here, it's only, you can get a box for like anywhere between $115 to $120. It's not that expensive right now. It's pretty affordable. Right now is the time to buy Sun and Moon just because it's affordable. It's only gonna rise in price. Unified Minds is another one. Unified Minds just recently came out, so I don't see that rising in price anytime soon. Alright, Celestial Storm. Celestial Storm is another. You know, you can get it right around that $100 value. Alright, Fates Collide. This is actually one of my favorite sets, just because I love that Alakazam that's inside, that Mega Alakazam that's inside that set. Uh, Sun and Moon, Crimson Invasion. I've actually never opened one of these. Uh, Crimson Invasion, which is this This is the next one. Uh, Guardians Rising. I've never opened a Guardians Rising booster box. So these are all going to the personal collection. I'm going to keep these babies sealed. Lost Thunder. Lost Thunder I've never opened. Look at that Lugia. That's pretty cool. Now I got a base set Sun and Moon booster box in here. So Burning Shadows, I actually just opened this one on the channel. There's the, here's the base set, the Sun and Moon base set booster box. And the Cosmic Eclipse. So Cosmic Eclipse, let, let me talk about this for a second. So I personally think Cosmic Eclipse right now is very undervalued because it has a Braxton and Charizard. So, <clears throat> if you have some extra cash, excuse me, if you have some extra cash, that would be the set that I personally would invest in. Um, I, I've spoken to a lot of, you know, a lot of collectors in the last couple months about this set, and I believe this is gonna be, that Cosmic Eclipse is gonna be just how uh, Legendary Treasures was. So this that has a Charizard in it though. So the Braxton, it's the Braxton and Charizard, or Char Charizard and Braxton. And I believe that card is really undervalued right now because the set was not overprinted. All right, so the next one is 
a sword and shield base set booster box which is just you know you can get that relatively cheap right now it's not it's not an expensive box at all um so that that's all the boxes that i bought from brandon you know the real the big portion of that i bought from him that was really worth a lot of money is this right here let me grab this so i have these all prepped already for grading So Brandon definitely hooked me up. Like, he definitely gave me a bro deal on these. So these are all mint, 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 as minty as I can say. You see the back, the backs on these are perfect. Perfect cards, perfect cards. So I'll definitely be grading these. Electro Jungle. A first edition Flareon. These are all first edition. First edition Jungle Jolteon. First, edi first edition Jungle Kangaskhan. Mr. Mime. First edition Jungle. A first edition Jungle Pidgeot. A first edition Jungle Pinzer. And you know, just to show the back, like, it has a little speck of whitening there. But the rest of these cards are just immaculate, man. Look at that. Just perfect. All Hollows, first edition jungle Snorlax, my spirit animal. A first edition jungle Vaporeon. A first edition jungle Venomoth. A first edition jungle Wigglytuff. A first edition a Vileplume. Alright, so we're gonna move on to the Team Rocket cards. <coughs> so I have every Team Rocket Hollow except for Blastoise and Charizard, I believe, in this set. That Dark Alex Zam, Dark Arbok, Dark Dragonite, just super, super clean, super clean cards. Dark Dick Trio, Dark Golbat, Dark Gyarados, Dark Hypno, Dark Machamp, Dark Magneton. Dark Slowbro, Dark Bioplume, Dark Weezing, here comes Team Rocket, Rocket Sneak Attack, and Rainbow Energy. Dark Raichu, which is super, look at that, look how clean that card is, man. God, these are beautiful. Alright, so next we have some Jungle Series, uh, Blaine's Arcanine, and Erica's Venusaur, which are very, very clean. Next we have some Neo. So we got that Azumaru, a Magnum, a Belossum, Heracross, a Kingdra, and the Lugia. So Lugia right now, right? So this card is super minty. Super minty. This Lugia right now, in a PSA 10, I saw one listed for $28,000. Will it sell at that? Probably no, but... <coughs> Even if it gets a PSA 9, a PSA 9 Lugia right now is, I saw one sold for, for what was it, $1,200. A PSA 10, you know, I'd, I'd have to guesstimate, uh, I haven't seen a sold list on it, but I, I, I believe it was, there was one that sold like two weeks ago for $4,000. So it's just out of control, the amount of, the amount of money that these cards are just rising in value. Slow King. Steelix, Togetic, and the T17 Typhlusion. Look at that card, man. Super mint. No hollow scratches. The only thing that's wrong with it, it's a little set off centered. So these are all going to PSA. Hopefully, hopefully, they you know they let that one slip. If they do, if I get this in a ten, oh man, I'm gonna do a backflip. A metal energy, and then we'll have we have some reverse hollows from Expedition here. The Butterfree, Fragulator, Cloister, a Nine Tails, an Arbok, a Gengar, Latios EX, Latias EX. We have two copies of those too. A Tyranitar, 
the Registeels. <coughs> Excuse me. A Raquiza Level X. A Might Yina EX. A Latios EX. I like the Buzz EX. And a Scyther EX. Alright, guys, give me a second. I had to go use the bathroom. Okay, so that was all the raw cards. Uh, you know, he he definitely hooked it up. That's you know, depending we we'll, we'll only know how much it's worth once it comes back from grading. So those will be back here. Hopefully, uh, I'm sending those to PSA today. So those will be back here in the next couple months. So we'll be opening them up on the channel live, guys. So. You and I will find out at the same exact time what the grades are. So the next thing is, you know, I want to give Brandon a shout out because Brandon sent me this for free. He definitely did. And I really appreciate it. Um, I was missing this one from my set, so now I have them all in a PSA 10. So I really appreciate it, Brandon. I really do. <coughs> Oh man, guys, I'm dying. So next we have two Ultra Prism booster boxes. So I bought both of these on eBay. And this one's a little, you know, it's got it's got a little hole in the wrapper there. Um it's still sealed. It's got a little damage to it. Um this one's a lot cleaner. So I got these both from uh, Pokey Select. So Ultra Prism, Ultra Prism re was released in February of 2008. And this was the first set to actually have the Prism cards in it. Yeah, so a very, a, this set was actually very underprinted. Like it was not a popular set at the time. And it was underprinted. This is why these booster boxes right now, you will not find one for cheaper than $350. And it's a sun and moon set. So, it, you know, this, it's, it was so underprinted. So, definitely a good investment if you can get your hands on. For sure. For sure. Definitely a good investment. So, that concludes my, you know, my purchase. Um, the one thing I haven't gone over yet was this Charizard that I have in my left hand. Um, it's a first edition PSA 6 uh, base set Charizard. So I purchased this from Anthony, um, my buddy Anthony on uh, one of the Facebook groups. Uh, he gave me an awesome deal on it. I couldn't pass it up. You know, from the time that I purchased this card to right now and I want to say it was possibly like a week and a half the card has risen in $500 over $500 so right now I believe the last one sold was right around 3200 or 3100 <coughs> excuse me it's only rising in value um, so I'm honestly I have a PSA 8 and a PSA 9 I'm working on a PSA 10 right now so I might I might sell this, I might keep it, I don't know yet. I'm still deciding on what to do. But I believe this car deserves a regrade. Look at the back of that. It's got a little white neck there. And that's it. The card's clean, like the hollow's clean. The card's very, very clean. So I believe it deserves a regrade. Uh, I possibly may keep it and just crack it and regrade it. If it gets an eight, then I might keep it in my personal collection, you know, so we'll see. Um, so that's pretty much all I have. You know, this is my big purchase that I made over the last week. Um, hopefully I continue to make these, you know, I've been blessed in many ways to be able to do this and show you guys, you know, this is why I give back to the, the Hoarder family. Um, so just stay tuned for the giveaways. I'll be doing, I'll be doing a couple more here, here very shortly. Um, and this is it guys. So if this is the kind of content you like, you know, please hit that subscribe button and smash the like button as we try to get this to 100 likes. You guys take care, Horde family.